Okay, this is the uh, finished uh, CNC mill. Uh, as you can see, I've built an enclosure. Uh, it's just made out of uh, MDF. And um, if anyone's interested in the drawings on the enclosure, um, just leave a comment and uh, I'll send you the drawings. Uh, I have some drawings here with the dimensions on it. And uh, of course, it's upside down. But, um, so it turned out really well. Um, I looked upon some uh, plexiglass at the home center. Uh, it was discounted half price, so I ended up with uh, four windows. I was only going to do three, uh, this one and the two on the door, but because I got a discount, I went ahead and did it on the other side also. Um, the door is hinged in the center. Uh, you can do it either way. You can hinge it on the ends. Uh, but I decided to hinge it, on, hinge it on the center. That way I can open it and get full uh, access to the center. Um, here's the uh, finished Z-mount. Works real well. Uh, of course the X and the Y mounts. Um, there's plenty of room for travel. Um, there's plenty of room for travel on the uh, X and um, full extended and I got about a half inch clearance there. Uh, I bought the stepper motors that, that have the uh, extended shaft uh, thinking that uh, possibly I may do some manual milling. I, now I think it's really not necessary to get the ones with the extended shaft. Um, once you start the conversion you're probably not going to um, be doing any kind of uh, manual milling. Uh, you can see I got about a half inch clearance on my Y axis stepper motor. And uh, in the back, I got about another half inch. Uh, the box dimensions for the enclosure it's, it's 18 at the top, 26 at the bottom, and it's 34 inches tall by 38 inches wide. Um, Works out real good. I got the extended shelf here. My table is uh, 55 inches uh, long, and it fits everything real nicely. Got my uh, control panel, uh, my controller here, and then the CPU underneath, and a little small 15-inch monitor. Uh, works really well. I hope to uh, start doing some milling here soon. Uh, I already machined the Z-mounts. Um, anyone doing the CNC conversion, uh, do your X and Y mounts first, and then you can go ahead and hook it up, mess around with it, get familiar with it, and then do your Z mounts. I covered up all the holes. I covered up all the holes so that um, no kind of debris or anything would get into the spindle housing. This is just the aluminum duct tape. Uh, I covered up the holes underneath the spindle where I removed the intermediate shaft and uh, as you can't see but in the top there I covered up that hole. I uh, went ahead and removed the intermediate shaft since I had it apart. I really like the way this Z-axis um, mount turned out. It works really well and uh, it doesn't seem to be in any kind of a bind. Uh, you can get access to your gib screws without any problem. And right now I have the uh, standard tension bar, but I've got a air spring ordered. I'm going to mount it down here uh, at the base and then mount it on this screw hole here. And that's going to give me my, uh, should give me full motion of travel. Um, I'll get the uh, dimensions on the air spring. Once I get it mounted, I'll give you the specs on that if anybody wants to do that conversion. Um, I suggest you save the belt drive till after you do the uh, CNC. 
Uh, it would be a good little first CNC project, and it would just be a lot easier um, to do the milling. You won't have as much time in it. Of course, I did the pulleys on a, a lathe, and I did the uh, plates, mounting plates on the mill. I'm real satisfied with the way it turned out, and leave any comments. I'll try to um, get back with you as quick as I could. Thanks for watching.